Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Amadai Shakur. So this gentleman here was kind enough to do a video calling people of my skin tone racist and saying that we have nothing to be complained about in 2023. So I have a response to that, so let's get into it. Those live videos of some uh, very racist uh, black people, you could call them black supremacists. They, uh, they don't want anything to do with white people. They want to be completely separated from white people. They want to build their own cities. They don't want anything to do with white people or anyone not black, actually. And uh, this is something that I found many years ago on Twitter. They called it Black Twitter. They probably call it Black TikTok, too. It's always interesting when someone like him comes out and says something about people of my skin tone wanting to separate and not be around them when they had Jim Crow, okay? They had segregation. Our ancestors had to fight against it so that they could be accepted into places and spaces uh, with them. Okay, they didn't want to live around us and some of them still don't, but he's not talking about that. He wants to talk about us as if there's something wrong with some of our people not wanting to live around them. But here's the thing. Uh, some of them don't want to live around people who look like him because they're tired of being discriminated against. They're tired of dealing with racism. Okay, they're tired of oppression. Okay, please pay attention. He also said that people of my skin tone have absolutely nothing to be complaining about in 2023. Well, who is he, first of all, to tell us what we should or shouldn't be complaining about? He doesn't know how it is to be us, to walk in our shoes, to live in the skin that we're in. Neither do we know how it is to be him. So he can't speak for us. He sounds ridiculous. And also, uh, he's upset because some of us complain. Well, in the Bible, it says, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad and a gift destroyeth the heart. Okay, please pay attention. And since he brought up racism, well, let's talk about it because at the end of the day, what's the definition of it? Well, it says the belief that different races possess distinct characteristics, abilities, or qualities, especially so as to distinguish them as inferior or superior to one another. Okay, so I'm sorry. We are not able to be racist because we don't think that we're superior to anyone. You see, our ancestors and us still today are fighting for equality. So how could the people who are fighting for equality be the same people who feel superior to anyone else? I'm sorry, that makes no sense. And furthermore, when he said that we have nothing to complain about in 2023, well, here's a sign from Jim Crow. It says we want white tenants in our white community. But this is a story from 2023, okay? The same thing, okay? A woman of my skin tone suing her landlord after he tried to evict her and allegedly said he'd rather put a white family in this unit. I'm sorry. We've nothing to complain about. Please sit down somewhere, sir. You don't know what you're talking about. It's really sad. He also said that my people complain about being deleted by the police while unarmed, but that more of his people, in fact, are deleted by the police unarmed. Well, that's not true. You see, more of his people are absolutely deleted by the police, but it's not while they're unarmed. They're usually carrying a weapon and they engage the police in a violent manner. They're trying to fight them, trying to harm them and things of that nature. At the end of the day, also, they're 76% of the population, whilst we're 13 so they say I actually believe we're more but nonetheless they're the majority there's much more of them so yes more of them would lose their lives to the police but like I said it's usually warranted because they have weapons and they're usually doing something they're not just innocently at a traffic stop complaining and then they get deleted okay that's not what happens this is absolutely nefarious uh, this isn't good for the country it's not good for Americans we you know Martin Luther King and Malcolm X did a lot to bring equality to black people in this country. Uh, I'm sorry for what happened many years ago. I'm actually not sorry because I didn't do it. But, I'm, you know, I'm sorry on behalf of America that we had that history. But uh, get over it. Now, in the one breath, he says he's sorry for America's history. And then he tells us in the next breath to get over it. Well, he would never tell these people in the picture to get over it, and nor should they. They should always remember the atrocities that were perpetuated upon their people, and as should we. Because, you see, if you don't learn from your history, and if you forget your history, you may likely be doomed to repeat it. Please, Spentage. He also brought up Dr. King and Malcolm X saying that they fought for equality for our people. Well, our people have never gotten that equality. Okay, we still don't have equality till this day. That's why racism still exists. Okay. 
Also, we don't have hate groups. We don't have hate groups that have gone around for centuries subjugating people, oppressing people, lynching them, uh, ethnic intimidation being used as a tactic or any of those things. We've never burned down their towns. We've never destroyed their homes. We've never done many of the things. We didn't cause race riots and any of those things. And so it's very interesting that he's complaining about us and anything that we say or do. He can't make that make sense. We've never mocked them, okay? At the end of the day, you can see in this photo clearly, okay? They're mocking us. So he needs to probably go and follow my friends, Walt Kelly and uh, Dixon White, okay? And as well as Jolly Good Ginger and Tizzy e and okay? Maybe he could learn something. You can't tell me that black people can't be racist. Racism and prejudice are often used interchangeably, especially by whites. Especially by whites. And to me, it's a signal that we don't really understand the discussion or the conversation about race. Because racism is the belief that one's race is superior to another's, coupled with the ability to oppress or discriminate based upon that belief. For example, a black person may be prejudiced against me as a white person, but that prejudice may be based upon past experiences, but often that prejudice would not have a component of superiority. They may not trust me, but they don't believe that they are superior than me because they are black and I am white. So in America, given our history and our makeup right now, it makes sense only to talk about whites being racist. Blacks can be prejudiced, whites can be prejudiced, but as far as racism goes, it's whites in America that harbor the racist sentiment. Well, I couldn't have said it better myself. Absolutely no lies detected. If he doesn't listen to me, maybe he'll listen to him, okay? Uh, TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only.